Next one here, uh, Keith, just reading The Money Game, great book. Wanted to reference a short sentence in the book. Knowing economics, business cycles, and securities analysis doesn't guarantee success. And if you haven't a clue about them, there may be uh, hope for you still. What do you think Adam Smith was trying to get across to the reader? Is it that it's an art to manage money? Any other good books to read right now? Um, read the quote one more time just so that everybody gets to hear that. Knowing economics, business cycles, and securities analysis doesn't guarantee success. And if you haven't a clue about them, uh, there may be hope for you yet. What do you think Adam Smith is trying to get across to the reader? Well, I think there's a base pack of knowledge. I mean, you have to have a base pack of knowledge. I mean, just to, I said this jokingly, but seriously, uh, you know, like a serious joke, in the early look today, it takes you, it would take a technical type of the old wall about 30 seconds to come up with a view of the market. Could, doesn't have to know of anything that Adam Smith spoke about. Economics, real economics versus perceived economics in terms of, you know, the towers of wisdom. Uh, anything, you know, what's going on fundamentally, research, nothing, no research team. You could literally just sit there in your boxers, which some of you are doing right now, uh, and just click on a chart within, actually in a, in a second, you'll have a view of the moving monkey. I mean, that is not, I think what uh, Adam Smith was trying to say, or I, I, I'm not inside the guy's brain, but what I would say is that you really have to have a huge base pack of knowledge. You have to have a real good team behind you uh, that supports you and or a, a, a variety of different tools and teams that you use. This is what the best hedge fund managers that I know in the world and long only managers for that matter, there's no real difference. Um, that's what they do. That's why they pay us. I mean, they, they not only pay us, but they pay other people that provide tools uh, that are additive to their process. So I think that that's really the takeaway. Um, when you want to start reading other books, I would absolutely start with The Misbehavior of Markets. I mean, if you haven't read that by Benoit Mandelbrot, and please read it slowly, because uh, you're going to have to, and, and, and especially if you're not mathematically inclined or mathematically educated and trained, that could be a real kind of um, starting point, almost a Bible uh, for fractal math and nonlinearity, and also for anti-old Wall Street um, you know, in terms of how I've always thought about it when we started Hedgeye. There's so many things in that book that are going to reveal what you already know, or at least um, uh, really make it a little bit uh, easier to understand. You know, everything that you already knew but nobody quite articulated, you know, Mandelbrot articulated this a long time ago. So that's, uh, it's called The Misbehavior of Markets, and, uh, and, and God bless his soul, he's passed away.